Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the values of p and q in the exponential function y equals pq to the power of x. So we've got this sketch here shows a curve with equation y equals p times q to the x where p and q are constants that we need to find, some number that we need to find. The curve passes through 1, 6 and 4, 48. Calculate the values of p and q. Now we know from previous videos that if a point lies on a curve with a particular equation, then it must satisfy that equation. So if we sub in the 1 and 6 into this equation here, well, the 1 is the x, the y is the 6, then we get y, which is 6, is equal to p, which we don't know yet, times q, which we don't know yet, to the power of x, which we know is 1 in this particular case. So that gives us our first equation. Now, what about the other point? 448, well, that's a point on the line, so it must satisfy the equation. y equals pq to the x. So we do y, which is 48, is equal to p, which we don't know, times q, which we don't know, to the power of x, which in this case is 4. So we have these two equations here. Now, these are known as simultaneous equations. We've got two equations, two unknowns. And with linear simultaneous equations, for example, you would have seen a method where you could add or subtract the equations, which is known as elimination, to make something cancel. That's not going to work here. But what we could do is to actually divide the two equations. So if we call this equation 1 and this equation 2, well, let's do this divide by this because that power is bigger than that one. So we're going to do 2 divided by 1. So if we do this left-hand side in the second equation divided by this left-hand side in the first equation, 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. And then if we divide the right-hand sides, pq to the 4 divided by pq to the 1. Now a mistake that students often make is they forget the p's cancel. If you do p divided by p, that's just 1. It effectively disappears. And then we've just got q to the 4 divided by q to the 1, which by laws of indices is q to the power of 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. So we're just left with q cubed is 8. Well, if we cube root both sides, then q is equal to 2, because 2 cubed is equal to 8. So we've worked out the value of q, and then just like we would with normal simultaneous equations, we substitute that value we know back into one of the equations to work out what p is. So let's choose the first one, because that's a simple equation. We've got 6 is equal to p, which we don't know, multiplied by q to the 1. So that's 2 to the power of 1, which is just 2. And what times 2 is 6? Well, it's 3. So that gives us that p is 3. And that's our final solution. We know that q is 2 and p is 3, which means the final equation of our curve is y is equal to p, which is 3, times by q, which is 2, to the power of x. So that's the equation of this curve here. It's y is equal to 3 times 2 to the power of x. And we use those two points that we knew were on the line in order to work out what that full equation was.